Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm ICR Long Reads and this is the new book tag. Why did you start this channel? Um, well, I mainly started this channel because I wanted to kind of get a bit of experience working with video editing and um, YouTube and the general platform and I thought the best way to do that is combine it with something else that I, I like to do which is reading. So I thought the easiest way to do that was just combine them and together they would give me the opportunity to do all the things that I wanted to do. What are some fun and unique things you bring to BookTube? Well, what are some fun and exciting things you can bring to YouTube? Well, um, I'm Scottish, I'm, I'm an astrophysics student, um, I kind of speak Scottish Gaelic so sometimes I'd like to read um, some books in there. I also uh, have a poetry collection which was written during the First World War which is Scottish Gaelic which is one of my favourite poetry collections. Um, and. I'll read pretty much anything except romance, which I'm sure is all right. And um, yeah, I think that's what I could bring. What are you most excited about for this new channel? Oh, well, what am I most excited about bringing to YouTube? Well, I want to obviously, like I said before, get a bit more experience with YouTube, especially in the video editing and that kind of thing. Um, I currently am on a podcast for the last year or so, so I've had quite a good opportunity to learn how to edit sound that way and I'm hoping this way I can learn to edit videos kind of along the same lines, but also kind of to expand my reading tastes and find new things and start maybe reaching into different genres I really wouldn't get the chance to read before, pretty much, as well as to Meet new people and gain new friends. <laughs> Why do you love reading? Um, well, I love reading mainly because it's such an escapist thing to be able to do, to just sit down and read a book or to, you know, listen to an audiobook while you're out for a walk or whatnot. I just think it's one of those brilliant things you can do to pass the time and it'll, it's really enjoyable and it's just such a distraction from especially everything that's going on right now it's just such a beautiful way of just getting out there pushing yourself and learning new things especially through non-fiction and stuff what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers Ooh, probably how you got started i love hearing anecdotes about getting started and in like building up channels and stuff like that. I love hearing um, people's stories about their their channel and how they enjoy making content and stuff like that. I just find it so much fun so probably just anything more like that. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Ooh, probably like just I don't know confidence I guess Um, being able to sit down and film a video for our thing. I think that's probably going to be the biggest thing for me is getting the motivation to keep going um, but uh, also probably finding the time to do everything. I'm already pretty stretched thin as it is so I don't know, it might be insane but you know I could be insane too so <laughs> we'll just see how that one goes. When did you start reading? Ooh, when did I start reading? So I've read pretty much as long as I can remember. I used to when I was in um, like late primary school or early high school go to the library and get like six seven books out a week and then just sit and read them all non-stop um which I'd love to get back to that but um I'm hoping this will be the kind of a push to get back to the level of just being able to read as much as I want from that and yeah so I've always kind of been reading and I love it where do you read? Ooh, I read pretty much anywhere. I don't really like standing up to read because I find it a bit disconcerting walking about reading. If I'm walking about um, and doing stuff that requires me to stand up, I'll listen to it, probably listen to an audio because um, instead. Uh, but I also 
will sit in pretty much read a physical book anywhere. So I'll sit in my bed, the couch, my desk, um, <laughs> on the floor, in front of the fire, whatever. I'll read anywhere at this point. Um, anywhere I can find a cosy wee nook and relative peace and quiet, I'll just go for it. <laughs> what kind of books do you like to read? What kind of books do you like to read? Now, I can read pretty much any type of book. I don't really read romance that much. Um, I don't really, um, they don't really, that genre doesn't really click with me. Maybe I just need to bring that out wild, but it generally doesn't really click with me. I read anything from fantasy, sci-fi, horror, um, non-fiction, memoirs, mystery, pretty much anything. Classics as well. I like um, reading anything. I also really do like reading kind of like Doctor Who universe books as well as some audio dramas that they produce for it. What does your book collection look like? Oh, what does my book collection look like? So pretty much I've got um, six and a half shelves full of books. Um, I say shelves, I mean bookcases. Um, <laughs> but, um, and it's always growing. I do love having a little um, collection. I also kind of had separate my TBR and my recently reads into their own wee shelf. So every time that I start or finish a book, I don't need to like reorganise my bookshelves um, to fit them in. So I normally do that like once every couple of months, every three months with the books I've just read, which stay in their own shelves. Um, below my TBR shelf, which is a bit complicated, but I might um, explain it a bit further in a different video. Um, I also kind of only really have paperbacks. I find hardbacks a bit harder to read, so I tend to stay away from them. And yeah, paperbacks, different shelves. I also have a dedicated shelf up the top and down here for my various Doctor Who books, which I love. Ooh, that went awfully fast. I felt like that was a lot quicker than I was expecting it to. Um, well, welcome to the channel. Hope you stay around. If you've got any other questions that you want to ask me or whatever, you can just leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I will link my podcast also in the description down below. And thank you for joining me.